use your own damn settings. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Carlos here from Premiere Viewer. And before we get on with this video, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you can catch up with all my latest videos. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So the purpose of this video is I've been noticing a trend uh, for the last like year, year and a half where it's very popular to have your favorite YouTubers create picture profiles. People like to find out what picture profile as if by learning that person's picture profile, your favorite YouTuber or whatnot is gonna make you a better filmmaker. And the problem with I have with this model is that a lot of people don't realize there's a pitfall when it comes to that. Yes, you can get the same color profile, you can get the same settings, you can shoot 4K, 24, get that little bit more cinematic. They can tell you what lights to provide so that you get a crispier image. But at the end of the day, what they're not telling you is that you have to spend time learning your system. And if you don't learn the settings in the camera, then you're not gonna be a good filmmaker at any level. And that's the key. That's the key why you like their color grade so much or why you like their camera movement they understand their camera. They're not using someone else's profile in order to do that. See, the thing that gets me is that I know it's a popular video to make. What's my picture profile? What are my settings? Because a lot of people think that, hey, if I put these settings on, I'll be able to shoot uh, an edit video just like this person. And that's, a, and that's a trap. It's a trap because a lot of those people really don't, <laughs> really don't explain it to the degree that that is their starting point that is not their end point their starting point is maybe it's that picture profile that you're seeking but the iso the shutter speed all that stuff starts changing when it comes down to what their environment is so if you don't know that and you just keep using the same settings for every situation you're never going to get the same results and i like to equate that by saying imagine it's you putting on a Michael Jordan uniform, you buy his shoes, you got the socks, you got the headband, you got the whole gear. Does that mean you're gonna be Michael Jordan when you just because you have the same gear? No, it just means you, you have the same gear. You look like him, but you're not him. You're not gonna perform at his level. So it's the same thing. Just because you have someone's settings does not mean that you're gonna have the same exact success. Meaning, learn your system. When I started actually learning my system, um, I use a Sony system, so Sony's known to have a very complex menu system. So if you're in the Sony camp, and yes, you, you can use some settings so you set it and forget it, but that is not, literally, it's not the best move. The best move is to get in the system and actually learn what works for your workflow. That's the key to any camera system, GH4, Canon 5D Mark IV, um, 1DX Mark II, Sony A7 III, and so on. If you don't understand the system itself and, and what works best for you, then having someone else's settings really, it, it defeats the purpose of why you really want um, and what look you're lo really going for. You're going for not to be like somebody else, but to learn your voice in this whole space, right? That's why I'm doing it. It's always good to know all the camera settings because once you do that, you're, you're really going to see your uh, color grading go to the next level, your filmmaking go to the next level. So hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to get by. Don't use someone else's settings and, and if you don't understand how to use your camera. Once you get to that point, then yeah, you can understand why they use it. And that's the key. That's the, that's the beauty of this whole thing is that you get to see that. You get to see the progression. So beware of those people who like to uh, show off their camera settings because it's a trendy topic right now. So guys, hopefully you like this video again. Please, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and I will see you around.